This is a quick review on how to use the Atlas Batch Tasks functionality to perform an upload of multiple templates that were pre-created and inserted into a document. So what we've got here is some uh, um, party identification information and some customer information that um, we want to upload and we're going to use the batch functionality to do that so first thing we need to do is create ourselves a batch. We'll change from standard mode to designer mode and click the batch tasks icon and from the Atlas ribbon bar we'll then go to the job selection tab and we can see that we have a a node called new batch task. If we right click it and click rename we can then overtype in that box the word simple customer append. Okay, that's just the name of the batch. There are no templates in it. So the next step we do is take as we click the templates button at the top. That pulls up a list of the templates that were previously created and inserted into this document. There are two of them. There's an address book template and there's a customer's template. We want them both. We highlight them both. We click OK. Our knowledge of the AOT in AX is what we need to have in order to create these templates and also to position them in the correct order in order to um, successfully complete the um, upload into AX. All right. In addition to simply choosing these templates, we're going to add a couple of other little tidbits of helpful functionality. Uh, first thing we're going to do is click the Actions button and we're going to choose Display. Now this is optional, but what we can do here is put a message in this little box that says Starting batch. Press OK. So we're creating a message that we're going to insert in our batch, but we want it to be positioned at the very beginning of the batch. So we're going to highlight it and choose the up arrow. So the very first thing that we're going to get is an interruption of the batch, a message that pops us pops up that's telling us uh, we're now getting ready to start the batch. And you can insert this at any step in the batch you want and you can create any kind of a message you'd like. Okay, we're also going to use some functionality that is optional from the Actions button once again called Insert. Insert lets us put in the name of a formula. We're going to call this Counter or whatever kind of formula you would like but in this case we're going to create a formula and actually in the value box we're going to enter the formula itself and it's going to say count a parentheses party number and that's our formula we're going to click apply so our formula via the insert command is going to show us the record count that was created, the number of records that were created after our batch is complete and Atlas will then display it, display it to us within the document. Alright, uh, a very important point to, to not forget to take uh, action to, to not forget to take here is to click the insert button. The insert button in this instance is not going to run our batch but it's going to take these batch instructions and embed embed them in this document so when we save this document and we call it back up in the future the batch will be still resident the batch instructions will be resident in this document and it can be executed again without any additional work all right we have um, decided that our batch looks good we are ready to run it to run it we move to standard mode there's our batch. We need to move to the Start Batch uh, tab. Notice at this point, 
each of the steps in our batch have a yellow circle in front of them. So they are pending processing. If they successfully run, this will change to green. If there's an error, they're they will change to uh, red and there will be a pop-up error message that gets displayed for the appropriate step. If we're ready to go, we click run. The batch begins, but then it immediately stops because we told it to. And up comes a message saying, starting batch, are you ready to proceed? We are. We click OK. And the rest of the batches, uh, rest of the uh, templates, these two templates are executed. The formula of the record count also runs successfully. And it displays here within the Excel worksheet that um, five party ID records were successfully created. And that concludes a simple review of how to create and execute a batch upload with Atlas.